Hello everyone, it's Nadia and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be reviewing this fake ass Eliza Becca bubble mask. To be fair, I'm not 100% positive that this is actually a fake. It has a completely different name, but I know that the Eliza Becca Milky Piggy Bubble Mask pulled a Kardashian ass this summer and broke the internet. This is by Bio Aqua Skincare, and I believe the Milky Piggy Mask runs about $10. I got this bad boy for $3 off AliExpress, so I guess you are saving a few dollars, but it's almost worth it to get like the real thing. But we have this and it's supposed to be the exact same thing. Here it is next to the Eliza Becca one. This too has a little piggy, but it's in a little apron. So it's keeping with the whole pig theme. Very cute. It does not say anything about Milky Piggy, but it does say Black Pig Mask. Black Pig, I feel like that was a Craigslist hookup name. If not, you should take it because it's perfect. But what I find absolutely hell hairy ass is the wording. It's obviously an Asian product, so they kind of have the words a little bit jumbled up, but here, I'll let you guys read it with me. These are the directions, and I quote, after cleansing or facial makeup, before the state take appropriate mask evenly to the face, do not apply thick layer of cream as slightly thicker than the thickness of a little bit on it. Paint it about five minutes until bubbles start to bubble up to the most risk to the peak time. Hand massage bubbles a minute or so to fully dissolve inside the pores of cosmetics with dirt, then rinse with warm water. Use two to three times a week as recommended. Sensitive skin with caution. <laughs> The ingredients are indeed different than the actual Milky Piggy mask, so I'm guessing it's just the same concept. Anyway, let's open this up. It comes with a little spatula, just like the Milky Piggy mask, very adorable. And the container itself is the exact same as Eliza Becca, it just has different artwork right there. Here's what it looks like, it's very gelatinous, it looks like my stomach when I do jumping jacks. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold, very cold, like my soul. The spatula thing is not very good. Ooh, it smells really good. Kind of like a mixture of shampoo and tanning lotion. Oh my. Ooh, I was not expecting this this morning. Usually I save the facials for nighttime. Ooh, I hear it. It sounds like little pop rocks on my face. Pop up. Oh shit. It is definitely easier to do this with your hands. And we wait. All the little pops, it's like making my face itch. Like it feels like somebody's taking little pieces of thread or hair or something and brushing them along my face. I just want to like itch it. I can't even pat it like a weave. Can you hear it? Now that the itching has stopped, this is what I'd imagine fairy kisses to feel like. Just little tiny pops of love. Okay, it has been about 10 minutes and I feel like this is starting to like drip down my face. I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire when she's like, hello. Here we are up close and the only thing I can accurately compare it to is when you pour peroxide on something and it's got that fizzy feeling. This doesn't tangle or burn or anything. It's just got that little light bubbly feeling. It does say to rub in the bubbles for a good minute or so. So let's do that. Ugh, this is not a good feeling texture. It feels like I'm rubbing certain body fluids on my face. And we'll try wiping it off. Uh, this is not gonna work. Okay, I have to go rinse it off with some water. I'll be right back, baby. My face actually feels really soft and smooth, but I can tell that I put it too close to my under eye area because it burns really bad right here. But other than that, I am really impressed with this. I think this is gonna be one of those things that I always keep in stock. I mean, for three bucks, shit. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at officialnady, and you can follow Follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you again soon. Bye.